welcome to Kelsen Vidi. Today we're going to discuss a very interesting topic which is lipoprotein metabolism. At first we need to know what is lipoprotein. From the name we can guess that lipoprotein is composed of lipid and protein. So it's a complex lipid. The protein portion of lipoprotein has a special name which is called apolipoprotein or simply apoprotein. By definition, lipoproteins are spherical macromolecular complex which is composed of lipid and specific protein called apolipoprotein. Now let's see how lipoproteins actually look like. This is the actual face of lipoprotein. In this figure, we can see that there is an inner core and an outer superficial layer. The inner core is composed of triacylglycerol and cholesterol ester. And the superficial layer is composed of phospholipid, free cholesterol, and apoproteins. This structure of lipoprotein is a very important reading question, and you can easily answer this figure. From this figure, we can see that the inner core is composed of hydrophobic lipids. That means the lipids which are afraid of water. On the other hand, the phospholipid and free cholesterol are amphipathic lipid. That means they have both hydrophilic end and hydrophobic end. They are oriented in such a way that the hydrophilic end faces outwards and hydrophobic end faces inwards. That makes it soluble in water. We know that lipids are insoluble in water, so they can be transported in the blood alone. Lipoproteins are here to transport lipids from one place to another among various tissues and organs. So from this structure, we can know that the lipid portion of lipoprotein are triacylglycerol, phospholipid, cholesterol ester, and free cholesterol. And the protein portion is apoprotein. There are five types of apoproteins that are apple A, apple B48, apple B100, apple C, and apple E. Different lipoproteins has different type of apoproteins in them. The apple B48 and apple B100, both of them has apple B gene. But the difference is that the apple B100, which is produced in the liver, has their B gene 100% coded. On the other hand, the apple B48, which is produced in the intestine, has the B gene 48% coded. So that's the reason they differ from each other. The function of apple protein is a very important reading question. Let's see their function. They act as a structural component of lipoprotein and they maintain the structural stability of lipoprotein. They give a hydrophilic character to the lipoprotein particles to help their transport in the aqueous plasma. They also act as cofactor for enzymes. That means that they activate the enzymes. For example, apple C2 activates lipoprotein lipase enzyme. Apple A2 activates hepatic lipase enzyme. Some of the apple lipoproteins act as inhibitor of enzymes, such as apple C3 and apple A2 act as inhibitor of lipoprotein lipase. So you can see apple C2 is the activator of lipoprotein lipase and apple C3 and apple A2 is the inhibitor of lipoprotein lipase. They also act as ligand to recognize lipoprotein receptor on cell surface for the uptake of lipoprotein, such as apple B100 and apple E acts as ligand for LDL receptor, and apple A acts as ligand for HDL receptor. So now, as you are clear about the structure of lipoprotein, let's see the type of lipoprotein. According to density, there are four types of lipoprotein. From low density to high density, there are chylomicron, very low density lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein, and high density lipoprotein. The chylomicron is originated in the intestine and its function is to transport triacylglycerol from the intestine to the peripheral tissue. 
The very low density lipoprotein is originated in the liver and their function is to transfer triacylglycerol from the liver to the peripheral tissue. The low density lipoprotein is originated in the blood from VLDL and their function is to transport cholesterol into the peripheral tissue. And finally, high density lipoprotein. They are originated in the liver and their function is to transport cholesterol from the peripheral tissue to the liver. So that was our discussion on lipoproteins. Thanks a lot for watching this video. In our next video, we're going to discuss about kali metabolism. Till then, stay with us and don't forget to subscribe our channel.